Collaboration is the key to success. And I had a conversation with some people in Birmingham who do a property strategy that I'm not too fond of, rent to rent. But they are super successful in that strategy. They have taken it to new levels. They have beautiful offices in Jewelry Quarter and they reached out, we had a conversation and they was like, right, we've mastered this. Now it's time to get into development. And who else better to learn from than me? So we've teamed up, Collaboration 2024, come inside, let me introduce them. This is going to be a new mini series over the next six months. <laughs> so I'm shy. This is Charlotte um, and we are High Living Estates. So we're a property investment sourcing agency and we source all property investments nationwide. Um, so the last, say, two years, we've been heavily focused on rent to rent, service accommodation, just because of course it's been an amazing platform for us to generate cash flow, build our network. And we're now at a point where we won't then want to put that cash flow into developments, BRRs and so on and just kind of expand our portfolios and our offerings just as a whole. So we've partnered with Steve to kind of take on our first development um, and this will be the first of many. I think one thing as well that people usually like is our story and um, kind of how we started, not really conventional to a lot of people. People usually build up a business and then quit their jobs. We just full on quit our jobs. It was shy. Shy basically forced me to. <laughs> Do you want to explain that part? Yeah, so um, I was basically working in insurance. Charlotte was working in a law firm, which was dream job. She's gone yeah. to uni, graduated, put in all these years of graft, and then there's me working in a job that didn't really want, want to be in. Um, and knew I wanted to set up a property company, didn't really know what it looked like, but I knew that that's the direction I wanted to go in. So then when I realised sourcing was a way for me to generate cash flow, build a network, and then gradually work my way up into developments and the stuff that I wanted, want, want to be in, I was like, yeah, this is, this is the route we need to take. Hey guys, at the project that Shy and Charlotte have jumped on to do their earn and learn joint venture with me. And the best way that they're going to get the experience that is needed is they're going to go into the property, they're going in with you guys, they're going to walk around the property and they're going to give their thoughts and what they think that they should do to it and how they see the end product. So let's go inside and let's see what they come up with. So I think first of all, the bay window, stunning. I think it looked really. I'm imagining on the interior design side some big curtains, like to really kind of add more of a home. Well, straight shape. across or actually inside the bed? Either really. I think inside the bed would look, look better. Yeah, a photo with the natural light always stands there. So I feel like this space would look really nice. And then once again, I think yeah. with the natural light from the bay window and then with massive French doors here, mm -hmm. it lets in a lot of natural lighting into the space. And then with them being able to be opened up. It carries out into the garden yeah, as well. Yeah, definitely. Sense. I think that would look stunning. No, to, to really like show like lovely family home, mm. I think that would be nice. And then when we add different pops of colour within the kitchen and living yeah. space, I think that would be really nice. No, I agree. For that. I think if, because this is the master, I think this should be where a lot of character is yeah, in the property. 100%. If we're going to keep it downstairs like that with character. Yeah, we've both literally just walked out of our jobs, no plan, just an idea, and a bit of delusion off the back of watching YouTube videos. 100%. I think a lot of people start that way as well. I know a lot of people watching this, you probably resonate with watching the YouTube videos and then just starting. And that's exactly what we did. Like the, we have no family connections, no property background, nothing like that. We literally just started and took the leap. And I look now and I think the offices we got, six figure business, etc. going into developments with someone like Steve, like we feel very, very blessed every day. And I'm so excited to see where this project goes. Most definitely. This is thing we're not stopping. This is the start to many. When I say many, I'm talking. <laughs> Hopefully many, many, many more. Do you want to learn how to do developments like this? Do you want to get taught all the correct information? Do you want to see the highs? Do you want to see the lows, the pitfalls, the things that go amazingly well and the things that can actually hinder your progress? 
And if you want a joint venture with me, there's a link below. Fill it out, apply, I will be in touch, and let's see if you have what it takes to be a property developer, property investor, and get it right, because you're being educated by somebody who is a real property developer. I think if we do it with the, the quirky touches, it'll be a lovely yeah. hosting, entertainment, family yeah, property. I agree. I, I feel like that's the good vision. With the tiles on the hallway downstairs, yeah. that adds quite a lot of character. So yeah. if we can carry that character throughout the rest of the property as well. It'd be perfect, yeah. yeah. And I think it's like when we talk about it being a very much a family home mm. and like having the utility at the back is so useful. So then, for example, if the kids go out, it's like a muddy day, they're coming through the back. Back and straight. Yeah. yeah. So you guys have just had a tour with the team around the property to see what we're going to do. The next episode, you are actually going to see the CGI of what the property is going to look like and how we have picked everything. So which one of the two of you is the creative? Shy, 100%. Why? What is it about you that's got the creative side? Creative background, fashion background, so I grew up making clothes my whole life, and then architecture, property, everything's just a big part of who I am. I'd okay, yeah. and what about your strengths? What are you bringing to this? Mm, I think I'm thinking of the full picture. So for me, I see this as like a stunning family home. I'm constantly thinking, oh, so if this was for a family, how should the hallway look? How should the bedroom look? The practicality and things like that. So I think I'm the one that thinks of the overall picture, okay. which should help. And <laughs> which one of you two is going to have the final say? Oh, <laughs> that's interesting, guys. Look at this. Can you see this? Your team are even looking behind. Like, you know what? Now, <laughs> always mutual discussions. Always, nice. it's yeah. always present what both of us are thinking and come to a mutual agreement. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And what are you most looking forward to? Like, what part of this? From everything, from the contractors to picking the designs to the gardens to the finished product. Products. What's the one thing that you're really like? That's what I'm interested in. <sighs> Tough one. Mine would know. be mostly all the, the colours and things because okay. we've had a conversation before as well about how we can make this one with a little bit more colour. Yeah. Some projects that you do sometimes, they're very neutral and very mm. nice like that. So you want to go colours? A little bit, yeah. I'm thinking colours. Make it family I'm, easy. I'm, I'm open to it. You're creative? I'm open to it. As long as it works, as long as it works, I'm open to it. Okay. Yeah. Did you have a look around the street and see kind of what the houses are like? Have yeah. you done that yet? Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's good. So guys? Episode two, we're going to see, can they actually agree 50-50? <laughs> and what are these colours that we're all talking about right now? Blues, greens, yellows, black? We'll find out in episode two. <laughs>